everyone. Back from vacation, uh, working a little bit more on the uh, the replication back from Azure. Um, wanted to show you where I'm at and kind of give you an update. Uh, we're going to start replication back from Azure to the new Colo gear. Uh, as you can see over here, um, got my two hosts set up and uh, I got my VPN to Azure with the same PF sense as before set up, have my Zerto's uh, virtual manager set up and my VRAs. Uh, and I did go ahead and pair the sites. Um, so if I come into sites, you can see that I'm paired back to my Azure East US uh, instance. Um, we are passing traffic, a few megs so far today. Um, so what we need to do is we basically need to set up the VPG, the Virtual Protection Group, to start bringing those VMs back. Um, to do it a little bit more controlled, I'm going to create two groups. Uh, one for my modic VM this time, uh, which is just the single VM, and then one for the two blog VMs here in a second. So we'll go through the wizard here to create the uh, modic VPG. Uh, we'll go ahead and just select a host, a data store. Uh, I don't need a whole lot of journal history because this isn't going to really be up there that long. Um, yeah, it's all okay. Uh, my recovery network is going to be the management VLAN because I only got one set up so far. I'll go ahead and dump it in the default folder. Um, what we'll do is we will actually have it. Now let me see if I can. Yeah, let's have it go ahead and switch the IP addresses for us once it lands back here at home. Uh, the blog is actually going to be 42. Subnet mask. Gateway is 41. DNS servers, we'll just use Google. And DNS suffix. There we go. Uh, oh, actually, I put the wrong one in there. This is the modic VM, so this one is 44. So I've got the IP address info changed. Go ahead and hit next and hit done. Uh, this will go ahead and create that VPG and then it'll start replication back to uh, my colo. Once this one gets done, we'll go ahead and start the, uh, the other VPG as well. And just um, kind of as a point here, uh, when, we, when we first failed over, um, if you watch the other videos, you'll notice that I left the VPG um, sit out there. Um, I went ahead and deleted that one after, you know, before I started this stuff. Uh, the reason is, is because my, my Zerto virtual manager, my VPN connection, and all my public IP addresses, everything changed when we did this hardware upgrade. Um, so there really was no place for it to kind of just go ahead and start replicating back to. Uh, so we're going to just do a, a full push of the data. Um, and you know it's all going to head back to uh, to the same um, the same ZVM that I rebuilt here. So this guy should get going here in a second. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and create our other VPG. So these are the blog VMs, and we're going to select the other two. Hit next. Put these to the other host just because we can give each of them something to do. That's all fine. Recovery is VLAN 1. VLAN 1. Should put these in the blog VMs, I guess. Uh, I'll go ahead and configure my IP info to be static. 42. And we'll go ahead and finish it up. Um, so as you can see here, the modic VM 
its VPG is doing its initial sync. We're getting about seven megabytes, so about 70 megabits. Um, I would suspect I might see as much as maybe 10 or 20 megabytes per second. Um, I, I know that my Colo has about a gigabit internet connection, um, but I don't know how much is, you know, uh, I don't know how much, you know, all the way up to Azure has. It's kind of one of the downsides of a VPN over Express Route, um, but uh, this should be fine. There we go. So that one's syncing. That one's uh, getting started. I'll go ahead and pause the video. Um, so you can see that one's going to get going there too. So we'll come over to this screen. Um, actually, we'll come to the Azure one. A little bit more informative. We go here. Um, so anyway, I will pause the video. I'm going to let these guys uh, finish syncing. Uh, and then we'll we'll kind of uh, take a look once it's done uh, and start another video when we start the failover process. All right, looks like it's been uh, probably about three hours or so since we started the video. Um, and as you can see, all of our traffic died off. Now we have just this little bit down here uh, that tells us that our RPOs should be down in the, the second somewhere, 35. Um, so not too bad. That's mainly caused probably by just latency between the, the two sites. Uh, so at this point, we're, we're basically ready to do uh, failback. Uh, I think for right now, we'll probably go ahead and just move the modic VM. Uh, it's not quite as critical. Uh, I'll probably wait until after 5 o'clock to do the blog. Um, it's about 3.20 right now. But if we go ahead and say no commit policy, uh, don't need to configure reverse protection right now. We're gonna force. Oh, not supported on Azure. Okay. Uh, then we're going to hit next and we're going to hit start move. So while that's getting started here let me close that tab since I didn't mean to open it I'm gonna jump into the uh, the Azure portal here and we will see if it shuts down properly So what we're shutting down is this modic VM right there, right there, and right there. Uh, so this is the actual VM. We'll click on it. It looks like it is shutting down. This is deallocating. That basically means shutting down. Um, and we'll see. So that's shutting down. Let's come back over to our VMware side. See if we have a modic VM yet. It's been a while, so we'll just refresh the whole interface. Oh, hasn't created it yet. Come over here. Yeah, it looks like moving before commit. So what you've seen there where it went to 100 and then back to 10 is essentially it had shutdown information, like a differential uh, copy that it did there. And uh, so it copied all 11 megabytes of shutdown data, and then it went back to um, the 10% here. So let's see Still shutting down. There you go. So now it's stopped. Uh, so, you know, Azure is basically done with it. Now, if we look over here, it says 26%. Probably should see it. Yep, there it goes. Populates in. Um, and. It'll, you know, 
take just a couple of minutes now to go ahead and get it all spun up and ready to go. The, uh, the other thing I have to do is switch over to Cloudflare and uh, switch the IP address for that too. So I'll sign into Cloudflare over here on my other screen if I could say it right. Get logged in there. So we should be able to watch this guy boot up here. Looks like it's booted up. Let's see if we can log in. Yep, we can log in. So that guy's online. <coughs> Means that public IP address should now be 206.216.126. See if it wakes up to any of that. See what it's doing here. Who's listening on H? Let's just reboot it. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure everything is okay before I hit the commit button. Um, if I hit commit, then it's, it's going to be over here. We would have to incur a delta sync before I could just instantly fail back. Uh, so if it's not 100% working, um, we want to find that out before we go ahead and commit to the, the move operation. it's running. So, looks like we're able to get to our app. <coughs> see here, Justin. Got my login. Works better if you can remember what your username and password is. There we go. Okay, so that's doing its thing. Uh, let's go ahead and never apply. See if it can regenerate the graph. And it can. And as you can see, it's basically been offline. Uh, for whatever reason, it couldn't be accessed while we were in <coughs> Azure, uh, mainly because of a network issue. So now that we know that it's good to go and everybody's happy, come back in over here. We're just going to go ahead and commit the move. Um, we're not going to do reverse protection because they don't really need to. And uh, we'll tell it to go ahead and keep the source VMs. So what that's going to do is it's just not going to set up replication back to Azure. Uh, I don't really need to replicate back to Azure right now. Um, may set it up in the future, but uh, for right now, don't really need it. 
so we're not gonna pay for it basically one of the nice things about Azure and uh, it's gonna have this missing configuration details that's fine basically once this move operation is done what we're gonna do is we're just gonna delete the VPG and that will basically leave it on this side of the fence and uh, we're then able to uh, to do whatever we want to do then so I'm gonna come in and take a look at my NAT rules here um, kinda thinking that I messed this one up right here there we go let's go make sure my firewall rules okay it is <clears throat> And there we go. All right. So what I was verifying is that I could get to it from um, from the public IP address. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change. Sorry, I forgot to put it on the right screen here. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm in my DNS in Cloudflare. I'm going to go ahead and redirect Modic from the Azure IP back to my IP address scheme. There we go. So now if I go to modic.jfall.me, we get a working system. And look, it even remembered my username and password. Uh, so there we go. So that uh, that finishes our um, modic failover. Everything's working good. Uh, probably, like I said, I'm probably going to give the, the blog till after 5. It's 3.30 now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again. We'll wait a couple of hours until, uh, until after 5 o'clock. And then we will uh, we'll jump back in and we'll go ahead and do the failover of the web servers too. All right, it's been uh, several hours, a little over five hours, about 8:45 p.m. now. Um, most of the blog traffic for the day has kind of died off. Even uh, Pacific time is after five, so um, we're going to go ahead and fail that guy back over to on-prem. Um, We'll have to see if it changes the IP back to the right thing. It should change it to 42. We'll see if Zerto does it this time. I might not have had all the tools I needed to change a, a Debian machine back. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do a move. Our last VPG, the blog VMs, it's, uh, the web and the database server. <coughs> I'm going to change auto commit to none. And we can go ahead and say keep source VMs. Hit next, hit start move, and I should see that <coughs> it's waiting. There we go. So it took a little bit, but it is still online right now. If we do a <coughs> you can see that this here is the Azure. VM's IP address. We're going to go ahead and log back into Cloudflare. And somewhere in here. That would open in one window or another. I guess not. <coughs> So we already know, what, or I already know, what the uh, <clears throat> what the public IP address of uh, the blog is going to be once it comes back. It's not going to be this 40 number anymore. That's the Azure IP address. Um, the IP address that it's going to be is this right here. There it is. So I need to go to that one that one this one we don't need it all anymore this one we don't need it all this one we can leave there this one we do not need at all VPN we don't need just clean it up some other stuff too while we're in here <coughs> that one we're gonna change I think that's it. Yep, that should do it. Um, so let's see where we're at in the process here. It's still shutting down. 
Actually, probably will still even respond, maybe. Nope, there we go. <clears throat> so, um, basically, Cloudflare says, hey, I'm good. Uh, but the jpaul.me host is down. And that is because uh, it should be shut down in Azure by now. <clears throat> All right. So uh, deallocated, come back over here, 57%. Um, so that should mean that we should have some stuff over here. Yep. Log database, both populated. I don't know why that's hanging out up there. So we'll go in here to, oh, excuse me. We'll go in here to the database. <clears throat> and we'll also open up the blog because we're going to have to do a little editing even if it does have the IP addresses right um, we have to change <clears throat> the uh, database connection information inside of WordPress so we can close out of that database So after checking a bunch of stuff, I figured out what the issue is, and uh, it basically comes down to that right there. Um, I just completely uh, messed up my default gateway and sent it through the wrong router. So that's why it would it would ping, but it wouldn't um, it wouldn't uh, load anything out the out the web page. So I'm gonna do one more reboot. And uh, I think we should be good. I already changed the uh, gateway over here to 41. So we should be all set there. Uh, just got to wait for the, uh, the blog VM to come back up. And then we should be all set. Get closed out of our ZCA there. Don't need that anymore. Uh, the way I figured that out is because it will it'll load on the LAN IP address. Uh, but not on the external, uh, which is a pretty good indication that you know it's uh, it's an issue with the gateway. So we will wait on this guy to reload here, and then we should be all set. All right, so after a little extra cleanup work here, um, we have the right IP address, we have the right gateway, and if we go to the public IP address, we are able to see the blog again. Um, so everything looks good to me. Uh, we can go ahead and come over here and go ahead and commit the move operation inside of Zerto. Uh, we're not going to reverse protect. We are going to keep the source VMs. So we're going to go ahead and hit commit. Uh, the reason I'm doing it that way is because I, I have no intention of replicating back to Azure right now. Uh, but just because space is cheap, uh, I am going to leave a copy of it out there in case something were to go wrong. Um, you know, while we're finishing up the colo stuff or something. Um, so basically, we're going to just leave it alone. Uh, the, the copy out in Azure that is, it'll just sit there powered off and uh, the copy that is now running inside of VMware on-prem, these guys right here, are now the live copy of the data. Uh, so we have successfully failed over to Azure. Uh, it ran there for about two weeks. Uh, I actually took uh, about a week to get all the, the gear set up and then I took a vacation for a week so I didn't even work on it. Uh, ran great in Azure the whole time. And uh, 
then the the total failback process probably 30 minutes or so maybe 40 um, and most of that was just because I'm trying to get the IP addresses set up right uh, removing all the Linux agents for Azure off the machine uh, simply because they seem to slow it down during uh, boot up. Uh, once it was booted up, they they were fine. Uh, but you know, just during the boot up process, it seemed like it took a little longer to do that. Uh, so, and then of course I went ahead and I upgraded the kernels and removed old kernels and and all that other kind of Linux stuff um, just to uh, make sure that you know the the VM was kind of back to itself and and running good. I mean, you can see I need to do my database server yet. You can see how many kernels are still out here uh, versus the kernel on the web server. It's just one now. Um, so we're gonna do an apt auto remove over here too. I won't bore you guys with this, but uh, you know. Basically, everything worked as expected. Um, you know, worked great. The new hardware is running great, and uh, Zerto and Azure definitely uh, helped out and minimized downtime.